It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. All right, you guys. This is like my third recording. And I'm going to continue with my element reads. I already posted fire sign. And I know sometimes I'm scattered with the energy. But I, I have to go with my energy when it comes to the readings. Okay? Especially with the element reads. So I try to do earth sign readings. This is going to be like my third time doing my earth sign readings. Um, but I'm going to move on to air. I'll get back to your earth signs. But obviously... I don't know what's going on. All right. Thank you all for your love and support. If you are seeking a personal reading, that link is in my bio to Calendly. You can um, book your readings there. I tried, uh, someone tried, someone gave me a, a little advice on how to highlight it to blue. So you guys can just click on the link instead of co having to copy and paste it. So I don't know what's going on, y'all. I, I don't understand why it's not being highlighted for you guys just to click on it and go directly to the link. But However, if you really want a reading, you can also hit me up in my Gmail at unknowngoddess24 um, at gmail.com. All right, let's reading again. Now it's going to be for my air sign, sun, moon, or rising. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the message from my soul fam? Thank you all for your love and support. If I have not said that already, okay, go ahead and like, share, subscribe on my YouTube channel if you have not already. All right, air signs. Air signs. Number one. One, one, one. You are taking action, my air signs. All right. Yes, you are uno, nuno. See that number 11? That one and that one? That's that two right here. You're building. You're focusing. You're creating the change that you want. You're it's tapping into your creative energy, my uh, air signs. Okay. You are going after your passions. You're in your magician energy. As you should, as you should, my air signs, okay? Yes, you're focusing on your building, and while building, you are learning. This too, for me, is like the Hierophant energy, Taurus energy, right? L building, learning, and following your intuition. Yes, you have a clear bird's eye view and what it is you want, okay? And you're not letting anything that comes your way in, in a conflicting way to block your, um, to block your growth, to block your opportunities, or to stop you emotionally. You're free from that. Emotionally and mentally. You got you got clarity on what it is you want. Alright. Yes. You're working on your stability. When I see this 10. Some of y'all probably got um, uh, Capricorn in y'all chart. Or Taurus in your chart. Okay. Or Pisces. Okay. Yes. You're definitely working on your creative energy, creativity. Building. Alright. Abundantly. Alright. I do feel like you guys are moving in silence. Too many cards. Spirit. Too many cards. You guys are definitely moving in silence. Or whatever you're creating. Um, I do feel as if sometimes um, with this hangman energy, you're surrendering to anything that is feeling a little stagnant. If you're pushing too hard and you're finding yourself a little stuck, you're just letting it go because you just know that God has a better plan for you. Obviously, if, if you've been putting in the work and something is still stagnant and something is not moving, God is giving you a sign. So yes, you are definitely going after your passions, but when spirit puts you on pause, you have to go within and listen to your higher self, your intuition. Spirit will give you clarity on, on what direction to go. Okay, yes, because that's what you're working on, manifesting your change. All right, that's what's coming. Change is coming. But it is going to bring in a great deal of abundance when I see the six, harmony, balance, okay? Um, you are going to be communicating uh, with someone that is very knowledgeable in this business that you are trying to build or situation that you're trying to work on. There's going to be a partnership here, This, but this person is very knowledgeable, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, like I said, you're free from any type of conflict. If anything feels too conflicting, you're, you're letting it go. You're just letting it flow and realigning yourself to your balance, okay? Um, okay, let's see what else is going on here for my air signs. Do remember, I only get 10 minutes on TikTok. There you go, air signs. Your temp tempered and you're being patient with yourself there go the, the legal the justice energy here excuse me uh when it comes to when i pick up this hierophant energy here as well my collective um I, i'm picking up also a family feud energy here this could be between this could this could be to be between you and a sibling a family member okay um i do see gemini energy here okay this could be like a, a cousin an aunt um or this could be between you and a lover, okay? 
This is somebody that you thought uh, you thought that would have been uh, would have been committed to your relationship, but this person has um, some selfish ways that you ain't even worried about anymore. You let this person go. You freed yourself from that situation. You're focusing on growing and and change and building the stable life that you want because you're realizing that whoever this person is, this person is not meant to be a part of your journey, okay? No. Being around this person, they keep you stagnant. They keep you stuck, okay? And you freed yourself from that mentally and emotionally. You decide to let cut all ties and set boundaries, okay? Yeah, you have to. You have to cut all ties and set boundaries because you're done with tired of the conflict. You're tired of the instability. Um, you're not competing for anybody's time and attention. No, sir, we. No, sir, we. You are not doing that, my ear signs, okay? Too busy loving yourself, okay? Yeah, going after your own passions and being independent and building what you want because you are creative, okay? You are creative and you're focused on your own growth. You ain't got time for that. And that's the truth, Spirit says, okay? You have to bring balance in your life. You have to see things from a high perspective and temper yourself. Also, be patient with yourself, okay? Yeah, that's what I see here. Yeah, because these people, the only thing they're bringing, look at that, Ace of Cups, self-love. Okay, what these people are bringing in is chaos and upheaval. And like I said, you freed yourself from that situation. Okay, my ear signs. Yeah, you freed yourself. You are out here taking calculated risks. You are being divinely guided by your angels. All right. And that self-love energy, this Ace of Cups energy, like I said, you're free from all the emotional or mental baggage. It's all about you. All right. There is new opportunities coming in for you as well, my ear signs. You will be receiving a, a helping hand. Okay, justice will be serving a situation for you. It can also be something pertaining to a court situation. It could be something pertaining to a car, your vehicle, could have been an accident, could have gotten to a car accident here. You will be uh, receiving what you want. You see that judgment will be in your favor. Fortune will be in your favor. Wheel of fortune. Things will be turning in your favor with this judgment, okay? If you have a legal situation going on here, all right, my collective, yeah. Um, I feel like somebody here... Uh, it, mm, yeah, I feel like you putting yourself on this energy where you're blocking anybody coming with their stalemate, indecisive energy. You're not doing that, my collective? No, because you already know when, whenever you're going after your abundance, whenever you're going after building something, nothing is going to come easy. So with that Knight of Swords energy, you are ready for the challenges, okay? You're launching forward and you're ready for the challenges and to cut anything, any conflict, anything that comes your way, all the woods, all the bushes, all the trees, all the limbs that's going to try to come in your path, you're ready to ch face those challenges, okay? You're done. Yeah, because you're on your boss energy with that Queen of Pentacles energy and doing it independently okay my collective yeah doing it independently all right and i like that my ear signs all right yeah i feel like if you made a decision when it comes to the matters of the heart you made the right judgment because you're about to see how things are gonna with this tower and the wheel of fortune here um when it comes to matters of the heart you're gonna see how um, sudden things are going to go in your favor because this person that you're hanging around with, this person is a hangman and this is somebody that will want to keep you stuck, want to keep you on pause. You ain't got time for that, okay? You're ready to go, go, go. But also what I'm picking up here, there's a judgment here. When I see the justice card here and I see the judgment here and the chariot, I do feel like you guys are going to win a court case. Something is going to go into your favor when it comes to like an accident. If you had some car issues or your car got into an accident, you will be receiving justice for that. You will be free from that because it wasn't your fault, okay? Yeah, it's going to be proven that it wasn't your fault, all right? You will be receiving a, a, a lump sum, good amount, okay, for all your troubles and all the, the, the chaos, okay? But there's a lot of confusion around the situation. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, yeah. All right, this left you out in the cold, you know, Five of Pentacles. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles energy here in my collective, um... You're too both. You're manifesting yourself. This nine to five, paycheck to paycheck type of vibe with the five of pentacles energy here. Yeah, you're done with that. You're you're over it. You're not dealing with it. You're leaving all these other energies that have a lap mindset when it comes to money, when it comes to their spirituality, whatever. It, you're letting it go. I'm done. I'm not doing it. Yeah, because nine of pentacles, I can do this independently. All right, you're creating the luxury life that you imagine yourself to have. And if somebody else cannot visualize that for themselves, oh, well, too bad, so sad. Go on about your business. Yes, with that Capricorn energy, you're on your boss shit, that goat energy. Okay, you're obsessed with making this life happen the way, the way that you want it. All right, and you're not going to keep any karmic energies around you that want to keep you bound. Yes, you're going after your, your happiness. I like it, air signs.